guys, Sharon here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm using up some more 6x6 scrap pads and using my envelope maker punch board. Now I've made these two little uh, envelope flip flappy things. <laughs> this one's a B1 that I've made here and put some, because um, I do intend to make a B journal at some point. Um, I did do one last year. And then over here I've got another there. So I'll show you how I put this together. Um, and then there's a, a just a straightforward Lavender lilac one again. I haven't put any journaling cards in so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be using that for So first of all you need to get um, one six by six sheet That two six by six sheets I should say so I thought I would use this is um, from craft sensation inspiring vintage Not sure where I got it whether I got it at a teddy shop here or I bought it in the UK. Let's put the hanger thing on it. I think I bought it in the UK. But again, I can't be certain. But it's got some gorgeous sheets in it. And I've used some already on some other projects. So I thought I would use this one. And this one. And I really love this. I thought I would use that in the middle. So what you need is two sheets of 6x6 six six, and then one sheet of 55 half by 55 half. So I'll just cut this down here. And this side. I am keeping these um, strips because I'm going to be doing some clusters with some packaging I'll be filming at a later date. I then get my punch board, but again, you can make all this yourself. And for the 6x6, six six, you do it at 2 and 5 eighths. Oops, take that out. And score. This is quite um, flimsy. I'll do it this way round. Is that two and five eighths? No, that was two and five eighths. No, I'm going to just carry on that way round. I find it quite difficult to see the score lines. It's probably my age now. Um, but this is quite flimsy paper. So you have to be careful when scoring on this one. Um, this one was quite thick card that I used and again this was flimsy but a bit thicker than this stuff um, and then obviously you go around and round your corners off like this. so I'll just go and do the rest so that's the envelopes cut out and folded. So now I've just got to make a decision of what goes where. Um, I'm thinking that this looks better on here. So I'm going to be putting that in there like that. And then this one, whichever way round you want to put it really, I'll probably put that in there. But what I do is I will um, stencil first. I stencil all three because I'm never too sure what I, exactly I'm going to do. So I've got this stencil here. And I've got my vintage photo. And my brush. And my piece of paper that I seem to have lost. Oh, here it is. Fell on the floor. So I'm going to stencil here with this, put it up a bit like that, it's going to be a bit of um, manoeuvring I think, so that maybe I put that bit like 
in there. And then a piece just there. And then I'll do the same with these as well. Maybe I'll choose a different one. As I say, I can't remember which way. And some, when I was doing them, first of all, I couldn't make my mind up which way round I always wanted them. So I uh, tended to sort of just stencil everything and see where I went. Like that. I think I might do the same with this one. Put that in there. just take it over the edge otherwise I find when I stencil sometimes I get that line there that way and that way okay so you have your three like this now I'm going to be putting that one in there so actually that's quite nice because I've got two different stencils then yeah so now the next thing is to ink and to glue. So again, I've got, I'm actually thinking I'll do my gathered twigs around the edges um, because that way it will stand out a bit more than the vintage photo. I've really got more into the walnut stain and this gathered twigs I've only just bought um, last week. And I quite like this as well because it's a little bit darker than that way. I haven't done that one. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than the vintage photo. And then obviously around here, like this. And then I've just got to glue all the envelopes together and I'll finish that once I've glued the envelopes together um, there and same this side so this is all quite straightforward making these envelopes to start off with as I say you can follow a template you can do it with any size envelopes these I'm just doing as inserts so I'll just finish off these as well. Okay, that's all of them glued together. And I always ink round every bit of the envelope because the times that I haven't, and then they've ended up, um, I've missed a bit and I can't get to it because the envelope's all stuck down then. So now I'm just going to glue this bit down through around here and put it through. trouble to see we all have trouble with these sort of things that's it my ruler and I press it down there so you then have this bit here so with this I just put a bit of glue there and there Probably have done this last actually. I'm going to be opening it up, <laughs> open it down like that. Then I get this and I put glue around here. And all over. Now you could make these with bigger envelopes and make a little folder to go inside a journal. Or like I am going to be using these as an inside a journal or for um, happy mail. Right, so there like that. So it's like that. Okay, I've got some ephemera for this um, here. I've got a playing card from my playing card challenge, which slots in there. 
I've got this one which can slot in there. I think these are Pink Monarch prints. There's a lot of them. If I can find out, I'll list below where I got them from. Um, and this I'm not too sure. And then this one can go in there. So they're like that. Now the other thing you could do is decorate them, not decorate them, but put them with a paper clip. So um, something like this. So when you put it into a journal, you can put it on like that, or you can put it on the top like that of a journal page. Um, I haven't got a page here. So sort of like that. Or if you wanted to, you've also got things like this that I've got here. I need one with the right way round. That one, try that one. So you could actually put that like that and then just slot it into a pocket if you wanted to. I'm actually going to use this and put it, clip it to the side of a, um, or the top probably, of a journal page. So that's it for today. I've um, made up the B1 for my B journal and this lilac one, which I'm not too sure which I'll do with. So that's the three of them. Don't forget to hit that like button, please. And if you haven't subscribed, it'd be great if you came along with me on this journey and subscribe. And thank you to everyone that has subscribed. Speak to you all soon. Bye.